What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Let's Build Part 2 of the Polar Express Train. So, in the first video we built the Polar Express Train. I uh, changed just a couple things up. I uh, put some fencing for the walk paths and added some fencing down on the bottom. Made the cab a little more dense. Put some coal in. And added a little more detail on the uh, tender car. So now we're actually going to build the cars that follow behind the train. So you're going to need your light blue stain clay, your red stain clay, black wool for the wheels, glass, and some iron bars. So let's get started. So we're going to actually leave a, t a one space gap in between all these cars. So take your blue stained clay <clears throat> Take it 15 long, take it as long as the tender car And connect the dots here like so. Alright, we're going to add our wheels in now. One set there. Get your next set ready. And put your next set in up here. Just like that, guys. So now we're gonna build up the frame here. You build it up three high. Let's see how that looks before we add in the red. Actually, build it up too high. And uh, we're gonna to come in here with the red now. Leave this because this is actually gonna keep going up. I'm gonna put red here. Leave a spot for a window. Red, red, red. And basically just continue this pattern until this right here. Take your windows now, slap them in. Your windows in red are going to go too high. So go ahead and build the windows up as soon as you have them out. Or you throw the red wool out, build that up one more. Just like that, guys. Now take your blue clay and stretch it across. And basically all you're going to do guys, you're going to repeat that pattern on the opposite side. So you're going to pull it up by one more. And then you're going to start throwing in all of the colors. Alright, so now you guys are going to want to try to, you guys are going to have to build the roofing of this engine, so take your black wool, run it along the sides here. on both sides, which I should have done. Now we're going to take it up and you go ahead and go in by two on both sides this time. Keep 
keep going. You're going to build everything up by two on this one. Alright, and your last one, you're going to fill in this hole just like this. Oop, got rid of a spot. Basically, that's what the little coach car is gonna look like. You got your wheelbase, you got your windows in. Looks kind of nice. All right, so we're gonna do the last. So it's just gonna be a small train. We don't need the whole five-car train. Unless you want to build it, you would just keep building the regular coach car. So we're gonna take it out by one again. Need that space. Fifteen long again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Don't worry if your track's in like mine did. That just means you got to add more later on. So you're going to pull it out to here, but we're actually going to make the end train, which has that nice curve in it. So basically what you guys want to do is find that center point. I know mine. Mine's right here. And basically what you guys are going to have to do is build that center point in. Just like that. Build it in. And get rid of all the walls. So that's what that, this is eventually going to become a door. So build everything up by two. Now we're going to start adding our red and windows in again. Remember, two high on each one of these. Leave a space. You add a window right there. Another one there. Remember, that's going to get filled. Instead of window panes, you're going to have window glass in here. Just normal glass. And right, keep going along this side of the engine. Fill it up. Don't worry about adding the windows in unless you're good and ready to. Add all your nice shiny windows in so everybody can see out. Don't forget to add your topper again. back here in the back guys what you're going to actually do is you're going to take all this out by two each and every block of it and you're going to do one more because this is where you're going to add your little fencing in So you're going to connect all those up, add your door in here, leave a space for your door, and now 
what you guys are going to want to do, you guys are going to add your black wool uh, for your roof. And your roof is actually going to go all the way out to every spot out here. Just as so. So we messed up right here and it actually just goes in. Just like that, there we go. Basically, again, guys, you're gonna build this up by one, take it in two, and then finish it off. Uh, except the only unique thing about it is you have a little bit more out here, and you want to add a little red block right here. It's gonna be your end of train light. Keep building it all out. Basically for the light guys, you just want to add a black little top on it like this. And fill in the rest. Uh, don't worry about the interior if you guys really wanted to. You guys could come in here. And put a nice flooring down. And you'd have a door here. A door here. And technically you would have a door here. still have to add your wheels in. Don't think I forgot about it. If you were adding floors, you wouldn't add the black wool on top of them. You would just add wood. Show you how you, you would do this interior so you just want to grab some spruce wood get rid of the tops of your wheels because you can't really see them from the outside you just see the little black it's not like the front of a locomotive and what you would do is you would add your wood back here even for the door off inside with the flooring. Just like so. Grab a door. Any kind you want. Grab some seating. So I'm going to put some oak seats in. And grab yourself some signs. Go ahead and come out here and slap your door on just like so. Uh, don't forget you guys are going to need some lights out here. So go ahead and grab some of your glowstone and put one up in the uh, rafters up here. Just like so. And you guys would actually fill in all that with black wool. You wouldn't have that big gapping system we've got going on. Just like this. You have your lights here, your outsides, so you can come up here and stand. You can go right back inside now. And you're going to add seats. Every spot before the window. So basically every spot that the red hits, you're going to add seats. 
except for right about here, guys. Right here, you're actually going to tear off this window. Grab your blue wool again. And leave it like that. It's actually going to be a doorway inside the train on both sides. So dismantle that window. Slap that blue wool on. Place your door. That's how you're getting into this engine. Got one more seating right here. Fix that on both sides. Don't worry about the back. And now, basically, what you guys want to do is take your black wool, fill in your roof. And we're going to cut it ahead so when the roof's done. Alright guys, now that the roof is done, take some more of your wool, I mean your glowstone now, and slap in some lights. Doesn't matter on the spacing with these lights. And there we go, we have a lit up car. And basically what you guys do, you put a door here, just like so, and then on the other side, if I can get in. Slap the door on the other side just the same way. And there you guys have it. Part 2 of the my Let's Build series of the Polar Express train. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.